Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we will be covering Isaiah 53 through 55 and 2 Theologians 1. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And they all said, Amen. Isaiah 53 Who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of the ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing he has up in his appearance that we should desire him. And he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pains and bore our sufferings, and yet, we consider him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, and he was crushed for our inequities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and he is wounds, or by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid him on him, the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, and yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before the shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away, and yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth, and yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering up for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge. My righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their inequities, and therefore I will give him a portion among the great. And he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors for he bore the sins of me and made intersections for the transgressors. The future glory of Zion. Isaiah 54 Sing, barren woman, you who never bore a child, burst into song and shout for joy, you who were never in labor, because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who has a husband, says the Lord. And Lord, guard the peace of your tent and stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes, for you will spread out to the right and to the left, and your descendants will dispose nations 
and settle in their desolate cities. And do not be afraid. You will not be put to shame. Do not fear disgrace. You will not be humiliated. You will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood. And for for your maker is your husband. The Lord Almighty is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. He is called the God of all the earth. The Lord will call you back as if you were a wife deserted and distressed in spirit. A wife who married young only to be rejected, say your God. For a brief moment, I abandon you, but with deep compassion, I will bring you back. In a surge of anger, I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness, I will have compassion on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. To me, this is like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah would never again cover the earth. So now I have sworn not to be angry with you and never to rebuke you again. Though the mountains will be shaken and the hills be removed, and yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Afflicted city, lashed by storms, and not comforted, I will rebuild you with stones of turquoise. Your foundations will with lapses lazuli, and I will make your battlements of rubies, and your gates of sparkling jewels, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children will be taught by the Lord, and grief great will be their peace. In righteousness you will be established. Tyranny will be far from you, and you will have nothing to fear. Terror will be far removed. It will not come near you. And if anyone does attack you, it will not be my doing. Whoever attacks you will surrender to you. See, it is I who created the blacksmith, who fans the coals into flames, and forges a weapon fit for its work. And it is I who have created the destroyer to wreck wreak havoc, and no weapons forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that it costs you. And this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, that this is the their very vindication for me, and this is what the Lord declares. Invitation to the Thirsty Isaiah 55 Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and, and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread? And labor, your and your labor on what does not satisfy. Listen, listen to me, and eat what is good, and you will delight in the riches of fair. Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, with my faithful 
love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a ruler and commander of the peoples. And surely you will summon nations, and you now know not. And nations you do not know will come running to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendor. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. And let the wicked forsake their ways and the uh, up righteous their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them. And to our God, he, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. And as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And as the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return to it, and without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the silver and bread for the eel. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush will grow the juniper, and instead of its briars, the miracle will grow. And this will be for the Lord's renewal or an everlasting sign that will endure forever. And that was Isaiah 53 through 55. Now we will be turning to first theologians, our second theologians, one. Second. Theologians 1, <clears throat> Paul, Silas, and Timothy, to the church of the Theologians, in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, thanksgiving and prayer. We ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, and rightly so because your faith is growing more and more, and the love of your you have for one another is increasing. And therefore, among God's churches, we boast about you and your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials, persecutions and trials that you are enduring. And all this is evidence that God judges uh, God's judgment is right. And as a result, you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. God is just, and he will pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief to you who are troubled and to us as well. This will happen, and when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with his powerful angels, and he will he will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus, and they will be punished with everlasting destruction 
and shoot and shout out from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might. And on that day, he comes to the, be glorified and to his holy people and to be marveled at among all those who have believed. This includes you because you believed our testimony to you. And with this in mind, we constantly pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling, and that by his power he will may bring to fruitation your every, pain, every desire for God's goodness and your in every deep Prompted by faith, we pray this to that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. And that was Second Theologians 1, which concludes the Bible principle 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Isaiah 56 through 58 and 2 Theologians 2. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so, therefore, I give you all the grace and all the glory. And, and so there, I give you all the grace and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to Bible Crisco today. And as always, you know, God loves you. So do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share. God bless you.